Nichols with the Miracle in You, and I'm here in beautiful uh, Corona Del Mar at the Balboa Bay Club, and I am so excited about sharing the miracle of Carol Lowell, who I've been talking with, and she has a fantastic, beautiful, uh, beautiful miracle chair with you around relationship. So I'm gonna turn it over to Carol to tell us what is the miracle that she would like to really um, express to you today. So. Thank you, Sherry, yes. I appreciate being here. And I would love to share that today is my 33rd wedding anniversary with my lovely partner, who's actually filming behind he that camera. It. Steve, <laughs> turn it, let's see you, Steve. <laughs> I'm rocking the camera. <laughs> Hi. That's probably one of the reasons you have such a great marriage yeah. is all the, you know, the, the humor that you two yeah. have shared together. And it's fun. It's fun to traverse life together with someone who shares similar paths, but it doesn't have to be the same path. We're all, all on our own journey. And I think the most important thing is that you're there to support each other in whatever the path chosen, that it is a matter of us showing up in full support and love of our partners becoming the best they can be. Not with our agenda, but with what matters to them. And that's how we can grow because we are on this journey for growth, but we're doing it together. There isn't a separation. We see each other for who we are and we live into the best that each can bring and with that honestly with that 33 years together there's absolutely comfort but there's also a joy in taking new steps coming here and being part of a learning and new friends and communion with others i mean that's something that we can all do when we see that this is a journey to be had together and with gratitude always always with gratitude so, Carol, 33 years is such an accomplishment. I'm sure there's so many people watching that, you know, that that is almost, you know, that's something to aspire to, but not a lot of people actually are able to make it to that. What would you say would be something that um, you, you actually can give practical advice to that you do every day that you notice really keeps the bond between you and Steve? Well, bottom line is gratitude. I mean, being thankful for the people we have in our lives. When our partners, I mean, with anybody, but for sure in a marriage, you can look at little things and you can allow those little things to become big. Mm -hmm. But do they really matter? Yeah. You know, do they really matter? If it's... So, so like, not sweating the small stuff. Exactly. And, and recognizing that some of those small things, sure, that's how you your partner is but in the bigger scheme and I think that would be the question I would ask in the big scheme of my life and my relationship with this other does this little thing really matter you know what are you going to make big is it worthy and and that's where I see in relationships that seem to falter is they've forgotten the greatness in each other and instead are focusing on things that make each other small. D division happens there. And a, a relationship that's gonna last 33 years of marriage, so we've been 43 years together. So, Amazing. you know, you don't look at little things and make them big. They're not, they're not and, and in order for you to move beyond and know that you're in this beautiful partnership that can grow and nur be nurtured. So you, you, you put yourself uh, a little bit of your concerns on the back burner a bit and really ask yourself what's really important yeah. here. Yeah. And there's definitely this consideration for yeah. each other yeah. and a respect for each other. Absolutely. And uh, you know, great communication, I'm sure, as well. Yeah. And I know yeah. you have kids. Yeah. So how do you think your beautiful relationship has impacted your children? Well, thankfully, they're our friends, so I'm, I feel very good about that. Yeah. Um, and perhaps, I mean, we've had a very even-keeled relationship that we don't let things blow up because we don't allow them to get that big. Mm -hmm. um, so because of that, our children actually haven't really witnessed 
a, a, a rocky relationship. Uh, I think no matter what, it's our power and how we are going to respond. And just, you know, taking pause to maybe not say anything. I stand very firmly in, let's not have regrets for what's said. And that takes an absolute uh, awareness of holding holding a thought mm -hmm. and not allowing it to come out that can't be taken back. Mm -hmm. So let me get myself and my thinking under control to really understand what matters. And that's not to say that you let things go and you don't speak a truth, but you speak it always in love. And if you're in the emotion of something, you might not have that. Mm -hmm. You might not have that love and instead say something that you can't take back. So, I mean, our children have been witness to a relationship that works really well. Mm -hmm. And we have great communication with them. Mm -hmm. And now they can take what they know and have been raised in the environment and hopefully find the same, you know, skill set to be able to navigate whatever their relationships will take them. And it's always based on growth. What do you think is the key to your communication style with each other? Because I think in everything I've read and, you know, couples I've talked to, the number one thing they talk about is your ability to communicate with each other and to be able to evolve the relationship rather than be at that power, you know, like, yeah, it's got to be my way or yeah. it's got to be my way. And then you just butt heads with things, which I think is really common for it a lot is. of people because yeah. you can really get into that you know, getting into, uh, you know, I'm right about this, yeah. and each person feels that way. So what have you found to work uh, really well between the two of you? Because you've obviously, over 43 years, including the time you spent together before your marriage, you've been able to uh, really bridge the, the communication so that you evolved. What was the secret for you for that? Well, again, back to ownership of ourselves. Okay. So knowing what our truth is and being able to speak that truth but always with love so if we are coming from a place that is very grounded within us and compromise I mean we're two individuals I mean anytime we're in any relationship having it our way is not always going to be what happens and if that is our goal we've forgotten the relationship and I do have a saying that, would I rather be right or would I rather be happy? Mm -hmm. um, there are times where I will stand up for what I really, really believe in. If it matters, when I evaluate how much does it matter to me, then I, I may, might not compromise or at least I'll go deeper in having a discussion to see which way we might navigate. And honestly, in our relationship, um, the things that matter most seem to be not the same thing. Mm -hmm. So Steve will give and I will give. Uh -huh. And rarely are we at odds with one thing. Uh, but bottom line is you've got to be able to communicate it. And you've got to be able to communicate it with love. That this isn't a, a, a skill set or a decision that has to be made that has to be divisive. It needs to be something that brings you closer together as you're making a decision that maybe has different points of view. But ultimately, to keep a relationship healthy, you have to be able to fi find the ground to have that common, mm -hmm. the common ground. And what does that mean to you to say, to communicate with love? Well, it's not the I, 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 or you know, you, 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 I guess I yeah, should be saying. Yeah. I mean, it is about owning ourselves, right? Yeah. How we feel, whatever. It's not blame, blame, or labeling, or, um, you know, bringing up stories that aren't about right now in this decision. And again, it's presencing to being here right now and anchoring in to what we know and we are we're here and we're part of something much greater. So knowing that there's a power within us that is not this human body mm -hmm. allows us to connect to that greater self so that we can now connect with humanity, whether it's our people or 
anyone yeah. that we can see them for who they truly are and that is another person also wanting to have what they desire in their life and so compromise and consideration and total respect and not seeing that there's any level of inequality we are always equal no matter who we are our color our sex our age any of that we are spirit beautiful having a beautiful experience yeah. and if we're lucky mm -hmm. we can go 33 years and here's to 33 more <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> this is so really so beautiful Carol Thank and you. just uh, the fact that you've been able to create such a gorgeous union of the two of you for 33 years plus the 10 before <laughs> 43 years my goodness uh, I'm so grateful to you for sharing this and I know that it's going to make a big impact on everybody and what a miracle and I love how you brought in also all the, the bits of what really constitutes a loving relationship, the respect, the standing in your truth, the really yeah, evolving your communication with respect with each other and bringing in that higher power, whatever that is for you, yeah. God, source, fine, whatever that is, but just to really get grounded in that before you engage with the other yeah. person so that you're always coming from that what would love yeah. to aspect Absolutely. and that creates the miracle yeah right? yeah it's the miracle oh and it is a miracle yeah thank this you thing called so life much. yes <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Yeah. <laughs>